Ladies and gentlemen, I think I found my new favorite locking mechanism for any folding knife. Yes, you heard that right, my favorite, the Cold Steel Atlas Lock. Now, why do I like this so much? Well, I'm a huge fan of side actuating locking mechanisms, like the Spyderco Man X has its cage ball bearing lock. Of course, all those Benchmates have their axis lock, but now other knife companies are starting to take advantage of that. As you can see right here, I like how fast and how convenient they are, they're ambidextrous side actuating, I, just, I really like that. And they're also very strong too. But if you can give me that same convenience, that same speed, that same fidget factor, and increase the strength even more, I am down for that. And that's essentially what this is to me. So if you're not familiar, the way the Atlas Lock works is very simple. We have a spring embedded within the locking mechanism itself, so you can't see it in there from this angle anyway, but it's inside of the lock bar. Inside of here, there's a spring connected to this pin that is pushing forward. So whenever you let go of it, you let go of the force, it wants to spring back forward. You'll also notice two pins, two stop pins right here. So the first pin on the left is our main stop pin for the blade, that is what prevents it from over-traveling. The second pin right here on the right gets enveloped by the lock itself, the Atlas lock. As you can see, right there, it gets enveloped by that lock bar itself. Now in the tang of the blade, as you can see right there, it also gets landed on, so to speak, by the bottom of the Atlas lock bar. Kind of crams itself in place on top of the bottom of the tang of the blade and pinches itself in between both stop pins. So the lock bar on the Atlas lock is both above and below this right pin right here and below this left pin right here. The tang of the blade also gets stopped by the pin on the left. So we have this dual pin system with a lock bar enveloping this pin and then getting underneath the pin on the left, which also stops the blade. It's a very, very ingenious design and it's hella strong. Cold Steel made a video showing not this knife specifically, but another one of their models with this locking mechanism holding 726 pounds and not breaking. It, it was moving a little bit, it was torquing, but it didn't develop any play. They even did shock tests on it and it still did not develop play from that. So if you can give me that convenience and that fidget factor, like you can see right here, just like you would see on an axis lock or a cage ball bearing lock or a SOG arc lock or something that you would pinch on the side, Instead, we have something on the spine and you can disengage it and swing the knife out and relieve the tension because the space where the blade would recess into is cleared. So you don't have to worry about cutting yourself or anything like that if you're careful with it anyway. So that same fidget factor that we all love about the, the Benchmade Axis Lock and button locks for that matter, but with the strength closer to the Cold Steel Triad Lock, so it's stronger than your typical Axis Lock, which is already a really, really, really strong locking mechanism. These things can hold nearly 700 pounds, depending on the model. But this one was above 700 pounds and withstood even more shock tests from what I understand. So a very, very strong locking mechanism, stronger than the Axis Lock with that same speed and fidget factor. I am down for that. I absolutely love this thing. Now they said this withstood even more strength than their Triad Lock, and that got me really excited when Cold Steel made that statement. And whether that's true or not, the fact of the matter is, unfortunately, I have seen videos where people have done shock tests on these where the Atlas Lock actually started developing play when they were batoning with the knife. Now, pretty much any locking mechanism in the world also develops play after you baton with it, so unfortunately, this locking mechanism can't withstand shock as well. It could be because of the spring in there. There's more parts in here compared to something more simple like this, the Cold Steel Triad Lock. So although, according to what Cold Steel said, maybe this cannot hold as much weight as the Atlas Lock, it certainly can withstand a hell of a lot more shock than the Atlas Lock. So which one's stronger? I'm still gonna argue the Triad Lock is stronger. It's, it's more simple. We just have a torsion bar here. We have a bar right here, the actual lock bar itself, a pin that allows the blade to seesaw on, let's just say, and then we have a stop pin right there. This, we got two stop pins, the lock bar itself, and then we have a spring inside of it. So just because there's more parts here, I could probably see why it wouldn't withstand as much shock. Maybe the spring's more susceptible to becoming damaged or something getting thrown out of place from extreme shock tests like that. But that being said, basically no other locking mechanism other than the triad lock and the cold steel ram safe lock can withstand such immense shock tests like that. 
So where does that leave us? I still would argue, or based on what I've seen anyway, this is still a very young locking mechanism, so this is subject to change. I could be completely wrong. But from what I've seen, from what I've researched, from what I've tested, this is a even stronger, at least the same strength as the other side actuating locking mechanisms out there. So extremely strong lock, and also with the fidget factor. I love the cold steel triad lock. I still love this locking mechanism. I like how it's even stronger than the Atlas lock, actually. But it's not the most convenient. I usually have to use two hands to close it. It's a little bit dangerous sometimes to rock it forward. I actually did cut myself like that once. You have to make sure you're really, really close to that tang, and that razor-sharp cutting edge does not make contact with your index finger if you want to close a triad lock or any lock back style folder with one hand. So this guy certainly wins at EDC and convenience, and it's still really, really effing strong, and that's what I like about this. So for overall EDC use, hell, even tactical use, I still think this is my favorite locking mechanism. I have to say, currently, until I get wowed with something else, my current favorite locking mechanism, the Cold Steel Atlas Lock, baby. Great job. Great job, Cold Steel. Great job, Andrew Demko, for coming up with this. This has blown me away more than any other locking mechanism for the reasons I've just described in the video here. What are your thoughts on the Atlas Lock? I really like it, and I can't wait to see it put on more knives.